I'm now going to demonstrate giving an IV push medication through a running IV. The patient is Chris Cross and he has an IV of 0.9% um, normal saline with 20 milliequivalents of KCL. And my first check, I look and see that he needs to get Lasix 20 milligrams IV push. So I, I'm in the medication room right now and I pull out my Lasix 20 milligrams IV push. It's in a 2 milliliter vial and I'm going to give the complete two milliliters of that. So I have my drug, check against the MAR and make sure that I'm correct, 20 milligrams. And then I've looked up the drug in my drug guide and I, so I know the uses of Lasix, it's a diuretic, and um, any pre-assessment that I need to do prior to giving the Lasix, maybe check his blood pressure and um, check his uh, electrolytes. So I've done that and I've also looked up the two important things about this, the skill itself is does it need to be diluted and Lasix does not need to be diluted and how fast can I give the medication and when I look it up in the drug book it says I can give that 20 milligrams of Lasix over one minute. So I'm going to now get the supplies that I need to drop the medication. I've got a three milliliter syringe because I only need two milliliters and it's best to draw up in the smallest uh, syringe that I can use. And I also have a needle that I'm going to use. Uh, that's a good size. It's a 22 gauge, one inch needle. So I'm going to open that up and place my needle on the syringe. Keeping the tip sterile. And then I'm going to remove the cap to my vial. This is a single dose vial. And I want to first clean it off with alcohol. And then I'm taking two milliliters out, so I'm going to put some air into the vial. These little vials, sometimes it's hard to get a full two milliliters in there, so I'm going to put like one and a half milliliters in. And I'm trying not to touch the uh, inner part of the, uh, the plunger there. injecting the air, and then pulling out my Lasix. If I need to get any air out, I want to hold it straight up to inject air out. And then if I need to get any fluid out, then I would turn it upside down to inject the fluid out. I'm going to recap that needle right away. And then I'm going to take my Lasix uh, uh, tag here that I have and put that on the syringe. So I've identified the syringe. And then I'm going to do my second check, Lasix 20 milligrams, crisscross, IV push. So I don't need this vial any longer. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put a sterile cap on my syringe rather than leaving that needle on there and going to the room with the needle, even though it's a cap needle. I prefer to take it off. So I'm going to place the sterile cap on there. And I have a little tiny blue sterile cap that I can use. Okay, so I have my Lasix 20 milligrams and the patient has a running IV. So the only other thing that I need is a post flush. I checked to see if Lasix is compatible with potassium, and it is. Um, it's normal, uh, half normal saline, so that, that's also compatible with Lasix. So I've checked compatibility, um, so I know I, that I don't need to do a pre-flush or stop the IV uh, for incompatibility issues. But I do need a post-flush um, because I want to post-flush that Lasix through the, through the rest of the IV line before I leave the room. So I have those two things. I've got my MAR. I've got a couple of alcohol swabs for when I'm in the room. And I also have a pair of clean gloves, which I could grab as I go in the room. So as I go in the room, the first thing I want to do is wash my hands. Um, and then I'm going to introduce myself to the patient. And I'm going to ask the patient if they have any allergies. And I'm also going to assess on the, on the medication sheet. And, and I would have done that too in the, in the medication room check for allergies and the patient has no known allergies. And then I'm going to use two identifiers, 
crisscross, crisscross, and the date of birth is August 7th, 1925, same as on the MAR. Um, and I would do any patient teaching that I needed to. If the patient is getting IV Lasix, then I may need to, if he doesn't have a Foley, maybe need to uh, make sure that he has uh, a urinal or a bedpan nearby um, for when he needs to urinate or she. Uh, so then I'm going to apply my gloves, clean gloves to protect me in case the patient has any drainage or the IV site gets dislodged. And I've assessed the patency of the IV. It's patent. There's no um, uh, swelling at the site uh, or no redness. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just above the, the I'm going to take the port closest to the patient to uh, administer the IV push medication. I'm going to go oh about this much distance above it and kink it. And then what I like to do is make a circle so I can hold that all in one hand. And then I'm going to first clean the port off with some alcohol. Put the Lasix in, and I know I can administer this over one minute, um, and we have two milliliters, so in a half a minute, I should have um, one milliliter into the patient, um, and in a uh, 15 seconds, I should have about uh, a quarter of a milliliter. So I'm going to administer this over one minute. And if, as you go, you find that you're ahead of schedule, it's already been 15 seconds and you haven't given the correct amount of time or you, or you, uh, you want to just hold up and you, it's not the time yet, you want to hold up and just wait until the rest of the 15 seconds has gone by. Give a little more. And another option that you can have is if you want to, between each increments of Lasix that you give, you can open your IV or um, kinked area and just let that drip in a little bit. Sometimes nurses do that to flush it in between giving small amounts. Okay, so we've given the uh, IV Lasix. And then what we want to do is we could just open it up and let the IV flush it, but we want to make sure that it's given, the rest of the medication is given at the same rate. And if you look right here in the line, you still have um, probably half a milliliter of Lasix, it's just sitting there. So I'm going to take my post flush and I'm going to wipe this port again. And I don't need to give the whole uh, two milliliters over one minute. I'm just going to give maybe the first, uh, the first one milliliter over 30 seconds. Because that would be at the same rate. Okay. Now, once that one mil milliliter is in, I can just inject the rest of the flush slowly. And I'm assessing the site as I'm doing this to make sure that there's no problems there in the patient. Okay. And that concludes giving um, IV push medication through a running IV.